Wild for the Weekend is sponsored by the following supporters. Hopcop Premium Meats are third generation BC farmers, roaming pasture fed non GMO grain finished cattle with no added hormones and steroids. We source local produce and specialty grocery selections located on Old Judney Trunk Road in Pitt Meadows. Hopcopmeats.ca. Hello and welcome to Wild for the Weekend. Today we are at the Fraser Valley Specialty Poultry Farm and we're going to be cooking some beautiful organic free range duck really gorgeous flavors we're going to do it with a lovely blueberry jam and we're making a beautiful duck with green olives a classic french dish so join me in just a few seconds on wild for the weekend Hello everybody and welcome back to Wild for the Weekend. As you can see, we are out on location today at the Fraser Valley Specialty Poultry Farm. And we are going to cook up some beautiful duck and or uh, organic duck actually today, a free range organic duck. We're gonna do a whole duck later. And uh, first of all, we're going to do a beautiful duck breast. So our, I love the shape of duck breasts. They're always so square, it makes me laugh. So the very first thing that we've got is our beautiful uh, double duck breast here. And I'm going to just cut them. What we want to do is we want to cut through the skin and not too deep into the meat. So we're just going to um, cut through the skin. and We want it to um, score so that we can have the heat get through it and also render out an awful lot of that fat. There's a lot of fat in duck breast and we want to pull it out as much as possible. And so to encourage that, we're going to put a little bit of fleur de sel on top of there, just the ordinary fleur de sel, not um, a flavored one. We don't want to um, color it or anything. Just press that in. And we're going to put this onto our really hot skillet. And we're going to do that uh, skin side down to get that beautiful um, crispy. We're going to get a really lovely crispy uh, texture to that skin. So we put that uh, into our skillet. It's going to take about um, 10 minutes or so for that chicken, that duck breast to cook. And what you want to do is you want to turn it just once. Don't turn it too often, just turn it once and allow it to cook through. So about four or five minutes on this side, turn it and then about four or five minutes on the other on a nice high heat because we want that skin again to crisp up just beautifully. So the next time you see this in the skillet, it's gonna be a gorgeous color, the ruby red of that duck breast. So our beautiful duck breasts have been cooking and what we're going to do, we're actually gonna leave them in our skillet and allow them just to finish off cooking. I'm going to remove them in a moment or two and we will uh, let them rest, but we're gonna to add to the skillet now some onions, just a, a white onion, about um, two or three tablespoons of white onion, not too, too much, and a little bit of yellow pepper as well. Just chop these up to quarter inch sizes, nothing too uh, huge. We want a nice, we want it to look pretty, but we don't want it to look fancy, fancy, stupid. You know, we're gonna do it look quite nice. And I'm gonna add to that a clove of garlic. And all I'm done with the clove is just press it down and slice it. There's that beautiful chemical reaction that happens to garlic once you slice it instead of pasting it. And it allows the oil to come out. It doesn't char. So it has a really beautiful essence that'll go through the duck, but it's not going to char it down too much. So just mix that around. And these duck breasts you can see are just beautiful. They're going to be about a medium to me, just on the medium rare side by the time we finish with them. So into our skillet, a tiny little bit of stock about, oh, I don't know, three tablespoons of stock, not too, too much. And I'm gonna put into that a little bit of broccolini. And I'm using the broccolini because it has such a tender, soft head and it really cooks down quickly. And I love the color. The color is so amazing. This green in there is just beautiful. And then to that, we cooked off earlier some spelt grains. I, I cooked them. We've been cooking with our grains quite a bit over the series. And today I cooked some spelt grains off this morning. So these are finished. And all I did again was cook them in a little bit of stock with a garlic cube and pop them into our skillet. A little bit of seasoning, a little bit of fleur de sel in there, a little bit of cracked black pepper, just to bring out those essences and mix that around. And then the very final thing we're gonna add is we're gonna add the blueberries and these are gorgeous, beautiful organic blueberries. If you come out here to the uh, 
Fraser Valley Specialty Poultry. It's not just the duck that you can buy. There's an awful lot of things in their store that you see behind me. And one of them is these beautiful organic blueberries. We're gonna pop them into that skillet and they're going to just cook down and get jammy. You know me, I'm a huge fan of that um, fruit and savory um, flavor. And this is gonna cook down and get quite jammy. It's gonna look really beautiful. And the colors are amazing. So we want to pop a lid on that for just a minute or two, not too, too long at all. And we will start preparing our board. One of the things I want you to think about um, when you're uh, eating poultry, and I want you to think about duck as a change just from chicken. There's so much higher selenium in duck, which is amazingly good for a mood disorder. So if you have the slightest bit of sadness, especially at this time of the year, the beginning of the year, the dark clouds are still with us, um, do a little bit of duck because it has such a high uh, volume of selenium. Duck is actually um, seen to be one of the biggest fighters of um, uh, cancer in our bodies. It's really high in antioxidants and does an amazing job at cleaning our bodies. So that selenium is really gonna make you happy. The vitamins and minerals in a duck breast are so good for us and duck has a massive history. In fact, I love watching duck that's raised in India just now. There's a couple of farmers in India who have an amazing talent for raising thousands of duck at one time and taking them for a little wander. So you want to YouTube that and have a look, a look at it. Now see these beautiful colors starting rendering down, getting a little bit jammy, which is what we want. We want that flavor. And to that, I'm gonna add some ginger. This is powdered ginger. Normally we would add fresh ginger, but I like the powdered ginger in here because it's got a milder flavor. And we're just gonna drop that in. So we want that to be a finish note. You notice I didn't put that in at the beginning, so I'm going to cook through. I want that to be a finish note that just enhances that beautiful blueberry uh, flavor. So, always, always, always remove your meat and allow it to rest. That's a crucial element in uh, the cooking, is to remove that meat and allow it to rest. It's going to um, really um, welcome that uh, time. Oh, now sit nicely there. It's really gonna welcome that time to have a nice little rest and relaxation. In our skillet, we're gonna get that jam really going now. We've taken the duck breast out, so we can really get that to soften up a little bit. This has a gorgeous, I don't know if you can smell it. It has such a lovely, soft aroma. So, once we finish that, we just accompany our beautiful duck with the blueberry. I love serving on boards. I think boards to serve on are too much fun. A little bit of chopped cilantro on top in the middle there. And we're gonna finish this with a lovely drizzle of a balsamic, a reduced balsamic. This is gonna give it just an amazing, really rich, gorgeous um, kind of flavor. It's gonna give it that depth that you didn't have before. Once it's rested, the, once the duck rests for about three or four minutes, you can slice it, but I like to serve it um, in this whole form when we're um, outside and like this in the air and everything because it keeps the heat in it a little bit longer. But just when I get to the table, I'll take a knife, maybe slice it into three um, slices for the, uh, the guests that are, your guests that are eating. Remember when you're cooking the duck breast, high heat for a duck breast loves it. It loves that caramelization. It renders some of that fat out and it gives that lovely crispy skin. Really consider um, using duck in your cooking and against um, chicken because it has the richer mineral content, a mich richer nutrient content, and really will satiate you very well. And I always buy my uh, duck organically. I think it's, if we're gonna eat it, we'll eat it organically, just because I want those nutrients in me um, to be higher. So join us again in a minute or two, and we are going to continue cooking duck. And the next time we're gonna cook a whole duck with green olives, a classic French dish that we'll come back to in just a few minutes on Wild for the Weekend. Wild for the Weekend is sponsored by the following supporters. Hopcop Premium Meats are third generation BC farmers, roaming pasture fed non-GMO grain finished cattle with no added hormones and steroids. We source local produce and specialty grocery selections located on Old Judney Trunk Road in Pitt Meadows. Hopcopmeats.ca West Coast Wild Foods, foraged wild mushrooms and truffles harvested from the Northwest Territories to Southern BC. Westcoastwildfoods.com, a wild foods company. Mobile Bandit is an app that helps you find local deals on your smartphone. 
downloadable on all devices and no membership is required. Visit mobilebandit.com for more info. Golden Ears Cheese Works, artisan cheese made in the Fraser Valley. Golden Ears Cheese Works, cheese made with the family farm milk. Three year cheddar, Yorkshire blue and brie. Hagen's Board Chocolates is a boutique Vancouver based chocolate company that has been producing European chocolate since 2006. Pure Verona chocolate. Third generation family farm in the Fraser Valley. Fraser Valley Specialty Poultry has free range duck and goose, duck sausage and smoked duck breast, organic chicken and ground duck patties. Fraser Valley Specialty Poultry in Chilliwack, BC. FVDG.com. Anita's Organic Flour and Mixes has over 20 years providing whole grain products from Canadian farmers. Anita's is certified organic grains, flour, cereals, mixes and sprouted products. Their granite stone mills and low temperature milling preserve the nutrition for whole grain food. Anita'sOrganic.com So our last segment we cooked that beautiful duck breast in the blueberry jammy sauce was just gorgeous. Now we're going to cook a whole duck. This is a classic French dish, um, duck with green olives. It has been cooked for about three, four hundred years. It used to be, um, it used to take two days to cook it. I did not spend two days cooking this meal, nor am I gonna spend two days cooking dinner. I am, <laughs> those days are gone. But um, I did want to show you how to do this because it is a beautiful dish and olives and duck have such an amazing flavor. So we have our whole duck here. So how do we butcher a whole duck? That's the question. Very, very, very easily. The very first thing we're going to do is we're going to take off the tip of the wing. You notice that on a chicken, this is quite short, but on a duck, this is very long. You can actually see where the, the duck arm moves and where that tendon is, you just want to put your blade straight through. Oh, go, and he missed straight through there and pop that off. We're going to reserve that bit. We want that wing for a little bit of flavor. It doesn't have much meat on it, but we want that wing for a little bit of flavor. So again, just see that um, the slight um, uh, bend in the arm there. Just put your blade in and chop that off. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take the backbone out. We have to take the backbone out so that we can flatten the bird. And you'll, you'll notice, see how beautifully firm the bird is just now? It is going to become incredibly loose in just a moment. So take the parson's nose off. I just clip each side of the parson's nose first. Put your blade in and go down the side of the backbone. There, you see it there, just down this part here. Just right down that side and you'll notice that the backbone is in there. So the same thing on the other side. I'm going to take our duck breast and just take it right down. Oh, here we go. Pop out. No, you don't want to. Slippery board. Here we go. There we are. Okay. So we've cut down our backbone. We're going to reserve this. What you're going to do with that is you're actually going to put that into a um, pot and roast it. We want to roast it. Now the duck is in half. We're going to leave all of this lovely fat on the front end of the duck breast because we want that to render down into our um, tray. Take the breast and break through the back there. Cut in half. And just as we did with the duck earlier, what we're going to do is score it but just score it slightly, not too deep. We just want to score it very slightly. That's when we take that beautiful fleur de sel, get it on top of that duck breath, the duck there, and rub that in. Give that a good punch in. That goes into an oven for about three hours. So the first 10 minutes is 475 degrees. Little truck passing on our remote location here, that will be the ducks going to the market. Um, this takes about three hours, so you do 10 minutes at 475, 450, and then reduce it to 275 and cook it for three hours. And the reason that you want to cook it for three hours, you want to render down that fat, get it out of the bird, and let that meat become beautiful and tender. So I pre previously prepared that exact thing, as you can see on this front plate here. In our skillet, I have the back, the neck, and the wing tips. And the reason that I put it in there is because I, we're now going to create the sauce. So the duck has roasted for its three hours. Leave it alone. Everyone's very, very happy. First thing into our skillet. 
put a little bit of olive oil, a good glug, a good three or four tablespoons, a good glug, some onions. And to that, we're going to add whole garlic cloves. Normally I would press these down and I'd flatten them, but we're actually going to add them whole. And the reason to add them whole is that I want them to infuse a flavor and caramelize down. This sauce is going to take about 20 minutes to cook, and I want them to caramelize down and disintegrate into it. And if they're too small, they, they'll char slightly, so we don't want that to happen. And in there, so we've got that sauteing, we're going to put two bay leaves. Now these are gorgeous. Again, come to the Fraser Valley Specialty Poultry because it's not just the duck and the chicken that you can get out here. They have some amazing ingredients to cook organically and really healthy. Um, beautiful bay leaves that they are just gorgeous out here. So we've got a couple of the bay leaves in there. We're going to put some celery in. That celery is going to give it a lovely round flavor. Celery, when it works with bay leaves, allows a really gorgeous licorice flavor to come out. And that bay leaf draws that out of there. So um, put that in. Then our olives. I have about 10 green olives here, pitted just straight into there. And then on top of that, we're going to add our beautiful stock. Now this is organic chicken stock. And on top of that, we're going to add, when I roasted, when you roast the duck, I put some red onions under there, a couple of carrots, a couple of potatoes, and I like to keep them because I like to use them within the sauce. So you know me, I'm not big on that rice and potato thing, but I do like it when we've slow roasted a vegetable. It really has a gorgeous flavor. And remember, no skin off of your vegetables. I want that skin on. I want all of those minerals and nutrients that are a millimeter under the skin to go into that food and infuse it so that we can enjoy that and benefit from it. So now, I uh, met the Fraser Valley Poultry um, Farm a little while ago and I, I just fell in love and these are really gracious people out here. Um, one of the interesting things, these are farmers that have been around for an awful long time, actually the fifth generation of uh, farmers here and this actual farm, the duck farm, was um, purchased in 98 and um, what's really lovely about this duck farm is the way they're husbanded. These people take a lot of care into the raising of their animals, they're very popular, this is one of the most popular um, uh, poultry uh, distributors in the Fraser Valley. They have an excellent reputation. And you know me, get to know your food and get to trust it, know where it comes from. So just like me, a regular person, come out, talk to the people. Celine, who runs the store here would be thrilled to have a word with you about the way they raise their ducks and how they do their food. Celine actually is an amazing cook. She'd be able to help you out with some recipes as well. Um, the family are, are very cool and they do a great job. And what I care about is if they care about how they raise their animals and how they do business with you, then they do care about the product. So um, really take a minute to get to know your food, get to know, uh, like the last time we talked, we, we were speaking about get to know your butcher. This is to get to know your duck and your chicken uh, manufacturer. Both, uh, there's a whole team of people that uh, look after you when you come out here from um, Paul, who is out there in the field, Carol here in the office, um, the big Kona. Um, Frank, who um, does uh, an amazing job out here. Um, take a second, come out to Yarrow and really enjoy the time uh, you have. Once this is sauteing really gently here, the celery is breaking down, those olives are breaking down. What we were trying to do here is we are trying to get that olive to release all of that lovely juice that's inside and, sh and get that flavor so that when it hits our palate, we're actually doing a couple of things. We're not just tasting the initial ingredient, we are actually getting that umami effect. So our duck breast that was roasted, I'm just going to cut it, or sorry, our whole duck that was roasted, I'm just going to portion it down and um, I'm going to put it into the um, sauce. And this will allow it just to have them, the, um, some of that lovely oil underneath the skin to come out and go into the sauce. It'll also allow that beautiful olive flavor to infuse into the duck because remember we roasted this duck so it wasn't infused with that olive flavor we're now introducing that olive flavor into it so let's just pop this duck breast in there the duck in there and you want to put a lid on here and let that um, simmer again I love my pot because the handle come off let that simmer there for about um, five minutes or so and it's going to infuse it's going to have all of those gorgeous flavors come out and go into the duck and then we'll be able to um, serve it I love this dish. 
I think this is one of the most um, interesting dishes that you can make because it is so simple to make, but it is laborious in its time, but the flavor is intense and it's so worth it. So take the minute to um, prepare this dish and finish it. You're really going to enjoy it. So in our skillet, our beautiful duck has cooked just gorgeously. It will be so tender. I love these bamboo boards that we're working on. They're really nice. It'll be so tender and it really will be falling apart. So be very gentle with it. When we cooked the um, neck and the um, uh, spine in all of this beautiful stock, it really infused it with a gorgeous flavor. And so we're going to um, uh, remove them because they've done their job now. We're so happy with them. They've done their job. We're going to remove our bay leaves also because they did their job and we don't want to serve them. And then just take our beautiful green olive and potatoes with the celery and put that into our dish with the jus that's on the bottom. You want that jus. It's so gorgeous. All that lovely reduction from the duck. If you want to, one of the things you can do is you can actually um, take the, um, uh, the, the duck breast and um, uh, skin it down. You can do all of these portioning things. That you, but I like this rustic look. I think this rustic look has a, a, a really nice thing. This is a very simple country dish. These are really um, light and, uh, and not too complex. So <clears throat> take a little moment to, uh, to make them. This whole duck, if you're roasting a whole duck, uh, again, it's a beautiful way of doing it. You can do, roast it in the three hour method as well. Instead of that hot heat, it'll come out just beautifully tender. And uh, we shall see you again in a few minutes on Wild for the Weekend, and where we're gonna play a little more with duck. Wild for the Weekend is sponsored by the following supporters. Hopcop Premium Meats are third generation BC farmers, roaming pasture fed non GMO grain finished cattle with no added hormones and steroids. We source local produce and specialty grocery selections located on Old Judney Trunk Road in Pitt Meadows. Hopcopmeats.ca West Coast Wild Foods foraged wild mushrooms and truffles harvested from the Northwest Territories to Southern BC. WestCoastWildFoods.com, a wild foods company. Mobile Bandit is an app that helps you find local deals on your smartphone. Downloadable on all devices and no membership is required. Visit mobilebandit.com for more info. Golden Ears Cheese Works, artisan cheese made in the Fraser Valley. Golden Ears Cheese Works, cheese made with a family farm milk. Three year cheddar, Yorkshire blue and brie. Hagen's Board Chocolates is a boutique Vancouver-based chocolate company that has been producing European chocolate since 2006. Pure Verona chocolate. Third generation family farm in the Fraser Valley. Fraser Valley Specialty Poultry has free-range duck and goose, duck sausage and smoked duck breast, organic chicken and ground duck patties. Fraser Valley Specialty Poultry in Chilliwack, BC. FVDG.com Anita's Organic Flour and Mixes has over 20 years providing whole grain products from Canadian farmers. Anita's has certified organic grains, flour, cereals, mixes and sprouted products. Their granite stone mills and low temperature milling preserve the nutrition for whole grain food. Anita'sOrganic.com So welcome back to the Fraser Valley Specialty Poultry Farm where we're cooking today with organic duck, free range organic duck. So if you're, uh, one of the questions that I get an awful lot is what duck should I use and how much duck should I use for a person? So if you're going to um, cook a starter or an intermediate salad, something like that, and you want something gentle, then the duck breast is the very best choice for you. You want to come, uh, come over here and they'll um, uh, have them already packaged out for you. I love these because they're filleted. You get to see the exact shape. You get to know the portion. So if it's for two people, four people, sorry, for a starter or a salad, this two duck breast is a, definitely an excellent portion. It's enough because the protein is so dense you don't want to too much. If you're going to cook something where you're cooking in a slow oven, 
um, a Dutch oven or something like that, a slow cooker or sous vide or something like that. The duck leg is your um, ultimate because it really does have all of that flavor from the bones and the marrow and everything goes into that gorgeous sauce. So anything like a cassoulet or anything with sausages, beans, any of those kind of dishes, especially Spanish and, and Portuguese dishes, the duck leg is your choice. If you're going to um, roast and you're having a dinner party, then I prefer the whole duck. And the reason I prefer the whole duck is I like to butcher at the table. I like to cut it down at the table. And it's a very, very easy bird to um, break down at the table because it basically goes into the portions for you. So <clears throat> a large bird like this will feed about four to six people at a dinner party, two for the uh, duck leg and a breast each on an entree for uh, your guests if you're having it as an entree. I've really loved cooking for you today at the Fraser Valley Specialty Poultry Farm. We've had a lot of fun out here. The people are amazing. Come and see them sometime soon and join me again on Wild for the Weekend.